Look, we can't let this bumpy start derail why we're here. And why are we here, Stevie? Because we have an idea. No, because we have a great idea. And they should and be... they should be lucky to have us. Damn right. Johnny, ah. sorry to interrupt, but we're back up and running. Oh, great. OK. Let's do it. So I came in 200 par, and that is with half the course underwater. It's like it was ruined the whole trip. Horrible. <laughs> what course? Ocean course in Kauai. Ah, what hotel? We got a villa at the St. Regis. Oh, very nice. I've stayed there quite a few times. Hmm. Now, let me ask you, how many of you have stayed in a motel? Well, motels are small hotels without the golf courses, in case you... <laughs> well, good, good, good. So you're familiar, at least. Now, when I say motel, what comes to mind? Uh, run down, unclean, unsafe? Yeah, that sounds about right. Well, that's what I used to think. I always saw motels as a last resort, a dreaded pit stop. But I was wrong. Motels have the potential of offering a window into the unique charm of small town life. And that's exactly what the Rosebud Motel Group plans to do. Open that window and revitalize the classic roadside motel for a new generation. Turns out a couple of coats of paint and uh, dusting off some mid-century furniture can go a long way. That's right. We've seen a 400% increase in occupancy since we started marketing and cleaning. And if this is what we can do with one motel, just imagine what we can do with 10,000. I'm not coming to you for charity here. I'm coming to you with an opportunity. There is value in these motels. And if you're wondering how I'm so sure, my family and I have been staying in a motel for the past three years. And I wouldn't trade or stay there for anything. That's how strongly I believe in this idea. As Stevie can attest, if my family can find peace and comfort staying at a motel, anyone can. And I can only wish that one day soon you and your families can experience the love and simple pleasures that come with staying even for one night at a Rosebud Motel. Where, where every, every stay, stay feels, feels like, like home. home. Thank you for your time. Mr. Rose, that was so good. Did you see their faces? I mean, I, th I think they liked it. Johnny, <laughs> even I was impressed, and I thought you had blown it for all of us. <laughs> Didn't you have a briefcase? See, this is what happens when Johnny impresses me. I get confused, and I forget what I'm doing. What was in that briefcase, anyway? Nothing. You told me to look intimidating, so I brought a briefcase. I'll go get it. I'll meet you guys downstairs. Mr. Rose, you were so good. <laughs> First a video store, now a motel chain. What, he wants to reinvent the pager next? <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, forgot my briefcase. Don't forget that. <laughs> do you people know what it took for Johnny Rose to come back and do this after being away for all that time? Shame on you. Shame on all of you. OK, I just realized you guys are flying us home, so I apologize for my outburst, but I don't regret it. The man's a legend. <laughs>